Good morning, good morning. Hey, today we're going to do a try to do a quick video on low voltage wiring. A lot of technicians starting out that's coming through any type of training programs, uh, technical schools, community college, whatever. Uh, it's it's very important that we get the basic fundamentals of wiring uh, down pat. So of course, repetition is the key. But uh, how do you know? what to wire on a unit. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about that just for a few minutes. Try to keep it as short as possible because I know people have a, uh, a bad time watching anything longer than five minutes on YouTube. So uh, let's get to it. Um, we're gonna start out today with this unit here. So all we've got up here is just duct work. We have a furnace and that's it. No air conditioner. We just have uh, a way to heat and then a way to move air with a fan. So. Uh, very simple setup. This is probably going to be the easiest setup that you'll come across. Um, this is a gas one. I'm also going to try to show you uh, an electric heat only unit uh, and the wiring will be pretty much the same. But um, you would commonly, uh, I've personally seen this uh, more so in uh, like a automotive garage setup where they keep the bay doors open. They, they have a uh, maybe a swamp cooler or just a box fan, a uh, larger box fan over in the corner moving air. But in the wintertime, those guys, uh, they're on concrete floors and what have you, and it gets cold. So um, this is uh, pretty ideal for a standalone heating system. Uh, you, like I said, if you look in Walmart or Sam's Club or BJ's or wherever, when you uh, walk in uh, from outside, you may see in the cart area, you may see a, a, a heater hanging up uh, in the corner. Uh, it, it will be very similar to that. So. Uh, but low voltage wiring, this is heat only unit, uh, and let's get to it. So we, we've identified what type of unit we have. And once we identify, hey, this is a furnace, no air conditioner, uh, that makes our life a little bit easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up a little bit. Okay, now that we've taken the cover off and we can actually look at this, um, we get a little more detail about the unit. Uh, you can see right here that uh, here's my gas valve, my 24 volts to it. Uh, this is a single stage heating system, okay? Uh, this gas furnace is basically on and off. There's no fanciness to it. It is a one stage heat unit um, and that's it. If you were to actually see a gas valve with you know, more than two wires on it, you may also see off to the side a high and low. Uh, that would indicate that you have maybe a two-stage furnace. Uh, but for our system here, this is uh, nothing fancy, no frills, no thrills, no air conditioner. It's a one heat unit, that's it. And what that does for us is it lets us know what terminals uh, and, and how we're gonna wire this system up. So down here on the board, that they give you a terminal block to attach to. We've got a W, an R, G, common, Y, and Y2. Now, just because they give you everything like this, uh, that doesn't mean you have to wire it. So, uh, out of all these terminals, since we've identified we only have an, uh, a heat-only unit, no air conditioning, we're gonna, uh, and we have a digital thermostat that we're gonna, we're gonna wire the low voltage to. What we have to have now is a wire from R and C on this terminal block. We have to connect that to the thermostat so we can power it up and run it. And then since we know we've got a blower to control, we've got a G. And then since we have heat and only one stage of heat, we've got a W. If this was a two-stage furnace, you might see a W1 and a W2, um, but we don't have that. So for this heat only unit, we're gonna run four wires. Power, our 24 hot, which is R, our 24 common, which is the C, we're going to run a G for our indoor fan circuit, and then we're going to run a W for our heat circuit. So with that being said, I'm going to step back a little bit, and I'm going to run the low voltage wires, strip them out, hook them up to the thermostat, and we're going to go from there. Here we go. So I've cut some low voltage wire. Uh, what I do is uh, I take the largest hole on the wire cutters, and I strip that back. And what you've done is you just nicked every one of those wires. So when we're done, we want to make sure that we cut this a little bit lower than where that sheathing was uh, 
or strip back. Um, we've got an 18-8 wire and we've got this little nylon pull cord, okay? So you're gonna take that pull cord and you're actually gonna pull it so that it cuts the side of that sheathing so you don't uh, do any damage with your wire strippers, okay? So I'll clean the mess up later, but we're gonna cut that off. We're gonna cut our sheathing. And now we have all eight conductors in this case of, um, of our thermostat wire. Knowing that the four terminals, R, C, W, and G, I only need a four wire setup here, but it's always good to have extras. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my red wire for my power. I use black as a common, so I'm gonna run black. White is my W wire and G is my green. So that's gonna be the four wires that I need. All these other are spares, okay? So we're gonna wrap this around Try to keep, uh, you never know, you might need one one day, right? And we're gonna strip these wires so that uh, we can terminate them on the screws and in the thermostat, all right? And I'm also gonna do the same on the other end. So now we have a short set from the circuit board all the way to our thermostat where we're gonna connect these. And you can see that I've got uh, four wires on each end. They're all the same, um, and we're going to wire it up now. So let's start with the thermostat. Okay, here's our sub base for our thermostat. Uh, in this case, uh, for today, we're using a Honeywell Pro Series. It's a T4. <clears throat> I love the uh, Pro 5000s that used to be out, but uh, you can't really find those anymore. Um, but uh, it doesn't matter the thermostat as long as you know that you have the right one. So this unit we've identified as a heat only unit. We've identified the four uh, terminals that we're going to use and the circuits that are involved. You have to have a thermostat to match that system. You got to know the system, you got to know the wiring that you're going to use and you have to have a thermostat that will control this system. So we're on a conventional heat type setup, no air conditioning. I could run a thermostat that was heat only. In this case, uh, we're going to later uh, run air conditioning with it. So I'm going to use a basically a, a conventional one heat, one cool setup. But because we don't have any air conditioning, I'm not going to wire the Y at the thermostat. Okay, I'm going to wire R and C. That's going to be my power for my digital thermostat. I'm going to wire W, which is going to be my heat circuit. And I'm going to wire G for my indoor fan. Okay. So let me let me run these out here okay and uh, you can see the terminal identifiers here usually when you buy these digital thermostats they are capable of doing multiple types of units so heat pumps heat cool systems heat only systems cool only systems whatever you have uh, you're gonna have to read the literature on that uh, thermostat and make sure that um, that you program it correctly. Just because I know I have a heat only unit and I have the circuits that I'm gonna use doesn't mean that this thermostat knows that I'm doing that. I have to go in the programming once I've identified and wired it, I've gotta go in and tell it what it is. And that way it does the right sequence of operation. So uh, here we go, we're gonna wire the R, okay? I'm gonna wire that, just push it in, okay? I'm gonna wire my my other side, right, my common. That's gonna be over here. I'm gonna wire my W, okay? And this one actually has some uh, shadows, uh, some gray areas for the conventional. And then I'm gonna wire my G, all right? Now I've done it on purpose to have a little extra, um, but uh, you, you make sure you don't cut yourself short. So we've wired those four wires into the appropriate terminal. What I'm gonna do now is kinda, kinda hug that in and uh, this unit you actually fold that up all right and i can put the face on the thermostat once i've done that we're gonna we're gonna move we've wired the thermostat area we're gonna wire up uh and actually connect it to the furnace i'm gonna move uh this 
Molex plug here on the uh, furnace just to give you a better view of it. Uh, and here are the terminals that we have. We've got W is the first screw, R is the second, G is the third, and common is the fourth. We're not going to worry about the Y and the Y2 on the end. Uh, one thing I would tell you is don't use your little bitty thermostat screwdriver on here. Uh, you'll wind up stripping those screws out because the, the tip is just too small. I prefer to use a small flathead and uh, you just have to loosen them enough to raise that plate under the screw and um, tighten it just snug enough so that it holds. Okay, So we've got our terminals here. We've got, uh, if I put them in order, I've got the W, then I've got my R, okay, then I've got my G, and then I've got my common. And you can slide them all under there. And that's pretty much the wiring for a heat only system. Um, your low voltage, of course, all the factory wiring is already done for you. So let's go ahead and uh, turn everything on and make sure that we've, we've got it right. All right, once we've wired it, um, we've already got the gas piped in. Uh, we've already got the high voltage ran uh, from our power source. Um, we could actually turn it on and then we would go into the thermostat and make sure that we've programmed it correctly. So I'm going to turn it on. Got a disconnect switch on the side. You can see the LEDs down here have uh, powered the board or the board is powered I should say. If we come over here If we come over here, our thermostat is lit up. Um, we would actually go through and follow, um, and it's not September, it's October. Today is the, uh, I don't know, the 15th or something. We would actually start the, the setup process of the, um, of the thermostat. So we've got some basic information there. Uh, I'm not gonna do it today, but you would actually need to go ahead and find uh, you know, look in the box that the thermostat came with, but get your installation instructions. And if you flip in a couple pages, you're going to find out how to actually, um, along with mounting it and everything else, you're going to actually get into the setup options. So you might have to hold your fingers in a couple weird spots for three seconds while the screen changes, but uh, you would go in and configure this thermostat to be a heat only setup. And once you do that, well then, uh, anytime you ever install any type of uh, thermostat, once you've got the system wired and everything's powered up, go through and turn, you know, turn the fan on. Make sure that the fan comes on. Um, if it does, then you can safely say you've wired that G circuit correctly, the board is functional, the whole nine. So my fan just came on. I'll turn that back off. Uh, we would actually go through and turn uh, the heat on, okay? So the heat set to 66, I would actually raise it up above the room set point. And when we did that, all right, it's flashing right there. Our heat's on. All right. Thermostat call for heat, inducer motor is on, the pressure switch closes, our hot service igniter starts to glow, get up to temperature. I turned the gas valve or the uh, gas on now, so we should have gas flowing into our unit. Once it gets up to temperature, uh, the timing in the board will energize the gas valve with that signal from W, opening the gas valve, letting the gas through and light. And there she goes. And here in about 30 seconds, the heat exchanger will warm up and uh, the circuit board will turn on the blower and it'll blow that nice warm air into our ductwork into the house, business, garage, whatever you got. So uh, hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. Um, we're gonna change gears real quick. I'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna go look at a electric heat, heat only setup.